In this lesson, let's learn about the limits of rational functions. First, let me explain what the limit of a rational function is. The limit of a rational function is the value obtained from limit x going to alpha f of x using the rational function f of x. Next, we will discuss the properties of limits of rational functions. The limit x going to alpha f of x of the rational function f of x is defined when the function f of x is x equals alpha and limit of x going to alpha f of x equals f of alpha. Note that this is only true when the rational function f of x is defined when x equals alpha. Next, let's try to find the limit of a rational function. In the example shown, since the rational function x squared minus 4x over x minus 1 is defined when x equals 3, we can use the properties of limits of rational functions. x approaches 3, so if we substitute 3 for x, we know the limit of the rational function x squared minus 4x over x minus 1 is negative 3 over 2. If we use the property of limits of functions in this way, we can find the limit of rational functions. Now let's do some practice. Press the pause button and try to solve the practice problem. Once you're finished, press the resume button and mark what you got correct. Now let's check our answers. The answers to one and two are as follows. Were you able to answer both questions correctly? Finally, let's review what we have learned. The limit of a rational function is the value obtained from limit x going to alpha f of x using the rational function f of x. The limit x going to alpha f of x of the rational function f of x is defined when the function f of x is x equals alpha and limit x going to alpha f of x equals f of alpha. Note that this is only true when the rational function f of x is defined when x equals alpha. In the example shown, since the rational function x squared minus 4x over x minus 1 is defined when x equals 3, we can use the properties of limits of rational functions. x approaches 3, so if we substitute 3 for x, we know the limit of the rational function. x squared minus 4x over x minus 1 is negative 3 over 2. If we use the properties of limits of functions in this way, we can find the limit of rational functions. That concludes this lesson.